When we talk about a PHP unit testing suite, what exactly does that mean? Well, I wanna show you a really quick example. Basically, it is the setup that allows us to execute our unit test for our plugin. So what I'm gonna do real quick is just show you a live demo. Here we have Easy Digital Downloads, which is my e-commerce plugin for WordPress, and it has a whole series of unit tests that can be run for it. So what do we do when we want to run these unit tests? Well, it's actually pretty simple. We open the command line and we go into the directory of the plugin. So let's just go and do that real quick. We're gonna to go to sites, WordPress, WP content, plugins, easy digital downloads. And now that's where I am. Now, if I simply type PHP unit, it's actually gonna go through and run the unit test. So what you see here is first of all, a little bit of output information from the unit test, simply saying, hey, we're not running Ajax test, we're setting up EDD, or we're running PHP unit 3.7.28, et cetera, et cetera, and here's a configuration file that we're running. Now, what does all of this information mean? Each of the dots that you see here is a unit test. So if you go back to our introduction tutorial, uh, we talked about how you might be testing for the tax rate. Uh, and then we also gave an example of testing the sales. So we know for this month, we have one sale. So if we say get sales for the current month, do we get one? That's what one dot here represents. Each individual dot is a test. And if it is a dot, it means that the test passed successfully. If it is an I, it means that the test was marked as incomplete. So for some reason or other, the unit test doesn't really work or there's something wrong with it. So we have told PHP unit to not run this test. And if you see an F, it means that the test failed. So in this case, it was you can see this is the test itself that failed, and this is why it failed. We were trying to say that this, which is a Unix timestamp, is greater than that, which is not the case. So the test fails, and it tells us exactly which test it was and where it was. So here we can have a quick idea of how our unit tests are doing. We can see, did we have failures? Did we have any errors? Uh, you can also, if you have a code error, such as an undefined index or a fatal error or anything like that, an F would be an E. You can also see the total time that it took to run the test and the amount of memory it took to run all of the test. The numbers over here refer to the actual test. So in total, we have around 300 and, uh, 360 tests. So the end of this line is 344. Or no, sorry, we have 344 tests and this line is 315. So the last test here was the 63rd test, then the 126th test, then the 189th test, et cetera. Um, so we can see the total number of tests that we have. So that's what it means to say the PHP unit testing suite. When we say go run PHP unit, this is what we're doing. It's gonna go through each of our tests and each of our assertions, which we'll talk about a little bit more in depth here in the next part. Um, and it's telling us whether or not they pass or they fail.